Hello, his everybody. daughter, Sydney. Sydney. And Sam. Sam. And everybody else. Okay. Who wants them to say their names? Kate, Jane, Virgil. K plus A. Peter. Kate doesn't want to be on on camera. So, um, so what's happening? It's a true survivor well, skills. There's a Browns cool. game. Yeah. That's why I got hassled. These police over there didn't know what I was doing. I drove up. Uh, on you the, came up by the community lot. Then, yeah, um, I drove up on the grass and. <laughs> like, what are you doing over there? I said, I'm bringing firewood. And he said, what's that over there? I said, what, what's what over there? He said, that tent. I said, you don't know? I think that's why I'm asking you. <laughs> and he was looking at me. I said, that's a homeless camp. So he gets on the radio and he, he checks in. So then they came over and they said, oh, okay. Thanks for what you're doing, he said. Aww. But they didn't know. Yeah. Thank you. Really. You're welcome. This needs to be sent to like Chip Brown, to like. Who's Chip Brown? Chip Brown, he's a producer. He works for uh, Murph Griffin, oh. Incorporated in California. Who's that? Talking but he um, he worked on and produced um, um, Cash Cab. Uh huh. Cool. And a couple other. His company's called. Bacon or something in LA, I don't know. So we're at St. Stephen camp. Um, this is um, our firewood visit. And I brought you to Cleveland Plain Dealer, which they keep delivering to my house. I told them to stop <laughs> delivering it because I get it online. But you can, not only can you read it, but you can burn it when you're done with it. Feels good to have current news, man. Huh? Yeah, right. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. She's so cute. I'm sorry. I didn't, and he came out the trail or she or he, she, he or she. Is she allowed on your couch? Yeah, yeah, yeah she's fine. She's she can do whatever she dog. wants. She's a couch dog. She's allowed on the couch. So, if I'm allowed on the couch, the dog's allowed on the couch. Damn. That's the way it goes. Nice fire. Do you, do you yeah, thank have you. a church? Oh, okay. A what? Do you have a church or a congregation? I belong to a church. I belong to a couple, actually. Um, Gilmore Academy has a church. Um, Our Lady Chapel, which is where I went to school. And then we also belong to... You went to, you went to Gilmore? Uh-huh. I went to Central Catholic. Oh, Cleveland Central? We used yeah. to wrestle you guys. I know. Remember Bob Ward? No. How old are you? I'm old. Oh, okay. <laughs> 50s. I'm 51. Yeah. But, so, uh, yeah, we used to wrestle you guys in Gilmore Academy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. We used to kick you guys' butt, you know yeah. that, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. They, they quit the wrestling program, so I don't doubt that. <laughs> yeah. Bob Ward actually was, was our wrestling, like, for four years. He was a coach? No. He, he was a wrestler. Oh. And he had got his uh, leg cut off, oh, okay. hopping the tracks over in Slavic Village. But Still wrestling. when he was younger... Yeah, he wrestled for Central Catholic. Still has all of it. They're, they're still proud of him. Well, he went on to become a um, Garfield police officer in uh, 1986. Well, when I came back after 25 years, I see this thing on TV. It's the, the guy who does the investigations on Channel 8. Carl Monday. Carl Monday, yeah. And he's like... We will soon tell you, like, who were investigating the police officer in Garfield Heights. Well, I, you know, I never thought anything him? of it. Yeah, it was him. What'd he do? Yeah, he got fired. He was stopping women in Garfield Heights. Oh, boy. And um, asking for sexual favors. Oh, boy. And then he was throwing parties and having underage kids come to his house. Oh, nice. Buying alcohol and so forth and so on. And then making moves on underage. Mm -hmm. So... Carl Mundy popped him. I was like, Well, I thought you were going to tell me a good story when you had his leg cut off, he's a wrestler. And well, then you, you it wasn't, it, it, listen, it was a good story at one yeah, point in time. Yeah, I thought he was going to be winning this right, championship. Right, he, he did some good things. <laughs> and it was yeah, yeah, went the rest yeah. of the rest of the Well, way. you mentioned Gilmore and, you know, yeah. Kind of like, it, who's that running back from Ohio State? Oh, yeah. Claret. What a waste. Do you, yeah. you know, uh, Sean Crawford from Notre Dame? No. Notre Dame. Who? No. He's the running back. Um, his dad. Dog out there? Yeah, he went out that back. way. Oh, his dad, on, Bobby, John Crawford. Again, huh? yeah. yeah, please do. Come on. Went to Central Catholic. He was a. Come on, little she, so was a, cute. She's like, come on. He's a girl, right? Yes. 
Hi. Good girl. Hi. Come on. Hi. Come on. Come, here. Come, Come on. Over here. It's okay. You stay in here now. There's traffic out there. <laughs> hey, Verge, you ready to go, buddy? Verge. Yeah, trying to go do that. Yeah, gotta, gotta go do, do it. it. Come on, man. Go ahead, cans. 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 Muni lock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll make yep. my. Okay. Make a couple I got a load of firewood there for you, too. That's all right. You need it. Want us to get it off? No, nah, I'll unload it. Oh. Yeah, well, you guys you got go, it? Get, go get your cans. James? Yeah, I got it, bro. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, so anyway, I got you some firewood from um, Steve Savage from Out on a Limb Tree Service <laughs> in Chesterland. He gave me a trailer for it. And then my friend um, Doug and Eileen Friedman gave me what they had on the side of their house, which is really nice. And, um, they got me a bit this morning. So you got a nice little supply there. Yeah, thank you. Quite a job. Is there a way out that way? Yeah, right on. Thank you, Okay, man. All right, have a good day. Thank you, guys. God bless all of you. Take care. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Merry Christmas. You too. Nice meeting you. Bye, Bye Virgil. Oh, you're leaving? Yeah. Bye. Wait, where are we? See you later, people. Oh, be good. Doggy. <laughs> the cowbell's killing me. Little ding, 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 ding. So, here we are. Sunday. Yeah. All right, we're... The... 16th, 17th, 17th, at Pin My Tent. They look so close in age. They look like uh, Irish they're twins. They're about 16 months apart. Oh, wow. Yeah. People no, think they're no, no. twins a lot. I was, I was gonna, that's why I asked them. They look like Irish twins. Make sure Jami comes right back. Jami? Jami. Jami is pretty. That's the dog's name? Uh-huh. Where'd you get John that May. from? Um, Hi, honey. Hi, John um, May. My ex-wife was always looking for interesting names. Uh-huh. She's a pointer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure she was, too. She's a pointer, too. That's why she's my ex-wife. <laughs> right. <laughs> she just pointed in the direction where you should, she John thought May. you should go. Yeah. So... John May. So, She's like, where so, the kiddos go? I gotta make sure they're safe. There was a girl in my office from India, and she said, she thought, what is a name? What is the phrase to, um, that means to stand, to stand still, like a mm -hmm. pointer? Mm -hmm. And she said, Jame Hue. Huh? So she said, that's perfect. So her name's Jame Hue. Jame Hue. But we just call her Jame. But her legal name is Jame Hue. <laughs> that is so cute. Yeah. So different, yeah. I love it. Yeah. It sounds like Indian. Sometimes I have an ear for different kinds of mm -hmm. She's English, but she has an Indian name. <laughs> and I love her. So I love. But England kind of conquered India, so there's yeah, a connection. Right. Got sap all over my head now. Hi, Chris. Jame, you got a good look, guys. Just want to keep hearing that bell. Be safe. Yes. Be safe. Hey, and shut the front door. You weren't born in a barn. Yeah, really. It's cold. You don't live in a it's tent. Cold out there. <laughs> so Sydney has a surprise. Mm. Oh, oh no! Wow. For Thanks. real? Uh, oh my gosh! Ooh. Look at that. Wow. Oh, and it's that's that like to it too. like oh that's gosh. like you there you go, you men's dream. This um is a, a gift you need to cherish. If you're ever stuck in the woods and you can only have one thing to survive, that. this would be it. Right. Right. Not for a sharpening right. stone. Too. Well, yeah. you can find those. Mm -hmm. But um, awesome. you got to take care of this. Oh, wow. Can be used for lawful purposes only. <laughs> Not chopping up women or nothing no, like no. that. I don't want to see it in someone's skull. <laughs> right. Unless, of course, you're defending your. That's castle. wonderful. Right. Yes, of course. That's Merry Christmas to you guys, yeah, thank huh? You. Uh, by yeah. command of the king, I, I um, <laughs> command that you are the <laughs> St. Stephen Lumberjack. Lawful owner of... <laughs> oh, needs to get his head too. <laughs> You're in charge okay, of this. Oh, wow. Like How today. beautiful. Wow, yay. Yeah. Right That's so very nice. So, Thank I got you these. Um, 
for my freezer. There's Johnsonville brats. Wow. They're starting to thaw slightly, so you won't. Uh, There's that a problem. You guys need to make a little. Uh, you you actually need to collect the snow and make like a little cooler. Well, we have a cooler. This I made. This no, I mean collect the snow, and make it look like a refrigerator. Oh yeah, that's my friend Angelo and I made this out. We were out camping in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Hey, Dad, where do we put the fire? We made um. Turkey. The firewood? Yeah. Uh -oh. This is frozen too, so you might want to keep it outside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They need to make a little. Okay, we can keep this inside. Good Pretty thing easy. there's no bears here. The frozen stuff you can keep frozen. We do got uh, coyotes. Yeah, what? Coyotes. You do? Yeah, you. Well, you do? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we're That's why it's good to always look at You do? Is there another bag? Yeah. Is there another bag around? Uh, there's a box over here. Oh, yeah. So let me show you that. This is from Steve. Karen. You're. Someone wants to know where to put the firewood. Just toss it as far as you can on the other pile. Do you need help? Uh, uh, Tim, you just wait, throw it outside so of the car. Like, Karen. Like, see you that wood pile? Yeah. This oh. is tuna fish. No, no, I think I'm good. Always comes in. You here. remind me of my niece. <laughs> What's she's, her name? Um, she's, Emmeline. So she's Emmeline. Loved, she just graduated uh, from um, the CFU. There's three boxes of these, and these are nice because you can eat them like a cracker, put your tuna fish on them. Mm -hmm. And then these you can put in the soup if you want, like croutons. Oh, croutons are good. Like? Yeah. And then these are um, some peanut butter. It's, uh, some nuts. So I'll say thank you to Karen. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. These Is that tuna? Kind of yeah. 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 Is that blue on it? Yeah. These are some goofy things. You ever eat those? Oh, those yeah. are vegetable straws. Vegetable yeah. straws. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. I used to eat those when I was a vegetarian in California, oh, like, like no, moons ago. This outside. In the 80s. Okay. Yes, because it's frozen. frozen. Yeah. Uh, give it to the... the look, she's... Uh, hey, matriarch. Yeah. Get, oh, look, you weren't running out there. Look, look at her lazy ass. Excuse my language. She went running out there and I was, I like, did, I was like, oh, I'm dying. I told your husband to tell you to put on some shoes and you go running out there and now you're like, I'm, I'm not going out there. Go put it out Where's there. Where's Sam going? Oh, he's throwing the wood? Yeah, he's throwing the wood under the couch. Yeah, I'm trying to go help him with that. All right. She's a good girl. So is this by the Muni lot? Are we like by the Muni lot? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, the Muni lot's right down there. Right yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty long. What's up with that? What is that? That's just the part I had to cut off. You need a um, you need a straight piece. Yeah, you need, you need a lot of things. <laughs> what? What is that? It's like an elbow. That's not the airflow. It, it's an elbow. Uh, it's supposed to be where the is that flute, the oh, that flute, yeah, yeah, the flu thing, right? But I took it, it kind of got crunched. Yeah. Okay, let me go help your son. Thank you, Dave. That's a beautiful axe. It is. And it's Gorgeous. all like. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, it even has. Is that sil silicone handle? Yeah, that way you don't chip it up on the Yeah, wall. that's mm -hmm. wonderful. Let me, can I see that? Yeah. Thank you. Nice. nice. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Very nice. That's so yeah, it'll come in here. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to take a picture of that they were piece of wood the, that was here. Uh, did you guys axe. kill that piece of wood that was here last? James did, yeah. He stuck the hatchet in it, and we have like this big metal thing. I think it's right underneath Kate's leg right there. And he bangs it. And every time he picks it up, he bangs it. 